Yo, what's up? Just went to uh, Walmart. Now you can only buy three boxes of ammo at a time, which is ridiculous because there's a Walmart within two miles of each other. There's like four of them. So I, I, I could just go around and buy a whole... It's... Uh, whatever. Uh, they used to, it used to be six boxes, but it wasn't because they thought someone was going to shoot anybody. It was because it was a customer consideration to make sure other customers could get the ammo too. That's so they could spread it out. But now the reason why they're doing it is because of this stupid stuff. I just heard on the, uh, hold on, I'm going to put my pen change away. I just heard on the Glenn Beck show that Cheaper Than Dirt will not sell any firearms to New York. Well, I just found a, what the hell is this, a rare quarter? I think I looked down. Check this quarter out, I just, I just got change back for. Maybe it's worth a million bucks. It's old. Let me, let me get the flower going. Thanks for subbing to them channels yesterday, guys. I appreciate it. I told you you'd like Baby Blue's channel. Didn't I tell you? I got good taste in women. All right. Look at that quarter. Anyone recognize that? Any? Come on with the frittin' thing. The little flower won't show up. Uh, any coin collectors? This. Hold on, man. This camera's fucking getting me mad. I've been in a bad mood lately, man. You know, I think it's subconscious, you know, all this gun shit going on, it, it can really get you mad. I, I might have to do this, like this. Yeah, now it's doing it. Look at that quarter. i never seen a quarter like that. Well, it can't be that old, 2003. Uh, you know what that is? It's just one of those weird-ass quarters when they were coming out with all them weird-ass quarters. I thought I had something good. Because it was all dark-looking, I figured it was worth a lot of money. Maybe it was worth something. I don't know. I'll keep it aside in case one of you guys say, oh, that's an awesome quarter. Uh, Cheaper Than Dirt is no longer selling firearms to New York, to New York, to their police and everything because of what New York's trying to do to the Second Amendment. Uh, that's a good thing, but uh, I don't know. Maybe Governor... Cuomo, what the fuck his name is, he might like that. He might say, oh, cool. We don't want no more guns coming in here. So I, I, don't, I don't know how to, hint, I don't know how to uh, hit, take that. Just a little update for you. Oh, boy. Okay, got a lot of packages here. I'm going to open them. It's a package video. Went to Walmart, got some more uh, shotgun shells. Whatever they had, they didn't have much left. Um, I have these, uh, these Super X 12 gauge, 2 and 3 quarter and uh, six shot and I got these high brass ones 12 gauge two and three quarter uh, four shot so these are these, these are probably pretty badass I got two 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 packs of these uh, these are expensive I'm used to these these things being like six bucks a box but for all three of these boxes it was like 35 dollars that's a lot of money for a shotgun ammo but Gotta have it, gotta have it, gotta, gotta stock up on ammo. Okay, sorry, I'm very unorganized. I'm waiting for important phone calls from about three people. And uh, I'm annoyed. Okay, let's start with the little one. Uh, this is from, I don't know, get my little Harley Davidson knife out. And uh, I haven't been to the P.O. box in a while, so that's why these, these I got quite a few. A lot of nice people in the gun community. Okay. All right. What's this? I don't like when things are wrapped up like that. This ain't gonna blow up, is it? I don't know what this is. See, so I got a that knife right there. Oh, an in the waistband holster. That's very nice. Is this from uh, my man? I don't know. Okay, there's initials on there. That's cool. What is it? It's for looks it's for a Glock. You can see it's for a Glock. And is that in the waist? Yeah, that's in the waist. And this will go around your butt. Very nice. I don't know who sent it to me though. This might be a new design from the Armschmo dude. I don't know. 
there, there's no note. So you got you got to put notes in here because I know because you because I talk on the phone to people. You think I remember you? No, no. I talk on the phone to lots and lots of people, man. Lots and lots of people. Sorry. And, if, and I don't get upset if I don't. There's I don't know who this is from. Uh, shit. See, I don't like that because. I mean, I just scribbled the name out because I thought there'd be a Coley. I think it says Coley. I used to know a Coley. Well, this is from Coley. And it's a, I love holsters, you know, they're always welcome. And this looks like it's for a Glock 23. Or a Glock 19, like that size. Or you could probably, probably stick a Glock 27 in there, too. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, that's the first one. Sorry about that, bro. And, uh, you guys, you have to put like a little note in there, okay? But yeah, a lot of guys help me out with the Benelli. I have a lot of people. Ebomi has one. A couple Ebomi's friends have them, and they were telling me go for it. It's a great shotgun. Like I told you, text helped me out. He told me what to look for when I bought it, and I, I appreciate all them guys. You know, if I can, I remember who, what their channels are. Uh, I know, I know some of them are. I put some of the links under the video. I don't, I don't know what this is. Okay. Okay. This might be a joke. A box of lollipops. Dum dums. Call me a sucker. Let's see what this is. The modern musket. I like that. Man, I like to put that on my car. Oh, I think I know who this is. No, no, it's not who I thought it was. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it, it's taking up a lot of time. He's just showing his appreciation for the videos. And uh, he likes the channel. And he's just he just sent me these, uh, these lollipops. Actually, they're called dum-dums. Are you trying to call me? I'm just kidding. Thanks, bro. Make sure no losses in there. Okay. I want to thank Nate. Thank you, Nate. Mr. Boilerman77. I love lollipops. Okay. I think I know who this one, this one is. I was just talking about it, pretty sure. Uh, that, that, that was almost very dangerous when I just did. Okay, what do we have here? I think this is from my buddy Paul. I'm pretty positive. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow, that is freaking sweet. Let's read the note first, let's not be rude. This is from my friend Paul, he's a local guy. He lives He lives near me with the, uh, he's the one that uh, picked up my shotgun. He's just saying it was a great surprise uh, meeting me at Double Action. Um, being a fan of the channel was, uh, was awesome. Uh, he, he's, he just bought the Remington uh, R1 Enhanced. Mike had like three of them up there. I think he's got like one left. Uh, and Mike still has them six hours, M11A1s. I can't believe he still has them. Because they're heavily desired gun. Okay. You know South Philly guys don't like to leave South Philly. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, my whole family's from there, but when they had me, they moved up here. Uh, I don't want to read the whole letter. I don't know if he wants me to, so I'm just scanning through it. But he's a fire. He's a he's a uh, he's a Flyers fan, and um, he has a um, a, uh, a wholesale company, and um, they sell like authentic NFL helmets. Like if, if your favorite team is the Pittsburgh Steelers, and you would like to have a real Pittsburgh Steeler helmet, like the kind they wear on the field. You like to put it downstairs in your cave. This is where you go. 
Wait, let me see. Sorry about that. That's where you go. If you guys are interested. Uh, now remember, they're all authentic football helmets, so they're, I mean they're not cheap. So just like these hockey jerseys and all, when you when you get the real thing, you, you know. You gotta pay the money if you want the good stuff. It's the way it is. It's like guns. Oh, that is freaking awesome. Look at that Flyers helmet. See? Look at that. Black and orange. They gotta be the coolest colors there is. That's Harley Davidson colors, man. Black and orange. That that is really, really cool. Thank you, Paul. Paul, this is I gotta I gotta make room. I gotta get this out here. I have to have this out. It's all flyer stuff. Well, wow, this is really amazing. Oops, almost out dry. Uh, shot glass. Okay. Uh, a pin. I know you guys wish it was gun stuff, but I, I'm having a ball right now. An awesome magnet. This is a towel for when I can wipe Ebomi's tears every time the Flyers kick the Wilds ass. Alright, very nice towel. Wow, Paul, this is really something. I mean, this is this is just too much. Another magnet. Keychain. Damn. <laughs> oh, what's that? Zamboni. Look at that. That's what resurfaces the ice in between periods. Uh, Winter Classic keychain. Wow, this is this is some cool stuff here, man. Another keychain. Man, I, that's my. Was that a keychain? That's an ID. An ID chain. An ID thing. But I, I would like to use it as a keychain. How cool is that thing? Paul, you're the man. Yes, you are. Big, nice, heavy-duty Flyers magnet. Winter Classic 2012, which they lost to the friggin' uh, little boy blues, I call them. Ranger fans are real sensitive. You, you gotta watch what you say. They want to kill your ass if you say anything to them. Uh, wow. I'll be putting them all over everything, these little stickers. Eric's downloading this video because I know I know he's a Closet Flyers fan. He wants to be a Broad Street bully. He wants to be part of it. He just can't because he's, he's from Minnesota. Flyer pencils. Well, if you don't mind, Paul, I'll give my son a couple of these. He would love these. Very nice. And this is friggin' sweet. Home. Sweet home. Now, you know what? i got to put another addition on my house and make a man cave. I don't have a man cave. This is my man cave. It's gunplay. Okay, got one more thing here. Where's my knife? It's buried. All right, let me use Mr. 45 Bullets knife. Look at that K-Bar. I know you're not supposed to use it, but he sent me that knife. I keep it on display. Whatever this is, it's heavy as hell. Oh, you know what this is? It's a bunch of flyer pucks. Pucks. Wow, look at this. Official game pucks. Green, red, looks like the Italian flag. Almost. Italian flag and Irish flag is very similar. One's, uh, one's red and one's orange. It's the only difference. Look at that. They're like my two favorite teams right there. The Boston Bruins and the Philadelphia Flyers. You know why I like them teams? And the New York Rangers. You know why? They're old school hockey. They're, they're, they, they play the old style. Just brutal, brutal hitting and fighting and dumping a puck and going after it. Not all this finger skating shit. That's why I like them two teams. And I have to put the I have to include the Rangers. And though I don't like them, I have to include them because they're part of the original six. One for the wife. Sorry, Paul, I can't keep that out here. <laughs> I'll give that to the wife. She, my wife's a huge Flyers fan. She loves it, so she would love to have that. And another official game puck. Yeah.
That is really, really something. Damn. Paul, I will give you a call. That's for sure. Love this helmet. Um, I like to get the Remington R1 uh, back to the range again. And, and definitely the... Uh, the uh, STI 1911, we gotta shoot that more, man. We only got 50 rounds to it. Because uh, remember, it's 45 ACP, it's very expensive to shoot that, so I'm not too eager to, to go to the range with my 1911s, because every time you pull the trigger, it's like cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. You know, it's just, I have an okay amount of ammo, 45 ACP, but it's starting to get low, and I just gotta be careful, because uh, the only places that have ammo, if you can find it, is at gun shops. And the gun shops ammo, you guys all know, they're like three or four dollars more a box, so whatever. That's the way it is. So Walmart is, does not have any 45 ACP or anything. All they have is shotgun shells. All right, guys. Well, I know you like gun videos, but this is a this was a fantastic package video, and I want to thank everyone for supporting the channel and putting up with me when I when I act like a baby and I and I lash out and I get in bad moods. But I just don't like people, you know. Here it is. Here's it's real simple. I'm not rude to anybody. It, it, it's if it ever starts, it's because they said something real nasty. Uh, because they just I don't know why they do that. And then that sets me off, and then that, then it gets going. I never start with anybody unless I misread text. I love that. I misread text a lot because I'm I'm not a good reader. You know I quit tenth grade. I got married when I was a young guy. I got married when I was 18 years old. And uh, then I had my first son when I was 20, which was Pete, and he grew up, and there he is there, proud of him. He's a Marine, and he's a singer now. And he's doing all right. He just had a baby, so now I'm a, I'm a freaking grandpa. And uh, put that bad boy right there. And, uh, you know, I'm just not a uh, guy that knows how to be diplomatic with people. I can't be. I'll just tell you, fuck you. Don't come back. Kiss my ass. But that's... And I'm sure a lot of you guys are the same way. We're 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 middle class people. We're we're blue collar guys. You know, we don't we don't you know we don't have the patience to deal with nonsense. <clears throat> Period. And we don't have to. That's you know. All right. Well, this was like unbelievable. This is like unbelievable. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Like like I said, I would love to get the uh, the STI to the range. And definitely the Remington R1. Do you guys know how I feel about that? I just look at it every night, just drool. I'm ready to spoon that gun. <laughs>